Virgo. Welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. We're going to do the week ahead for you. See what the messages are coming up. I'm going to do a Celtic cross. And if there, if I feel the need to do an extended, the link will be in the description box below. So you're starting with twin flames. You have yin yang. <laughs> I feel like you had this the other day. Or maybe was it Thursday? Addiction, codependent, obsession, controlling. Ooh, okay. And love. Now, if this video cuts out, please forgive. Um, we have a massive thunderstorm coming this way. So hopefully I don't get whipped off into Kansas by a tornado. Anyway, you also have love. So Virgo, hmm. Looks like your twin flame is gonna be significant this week. So let's take a look and see with the past energy oh okay there you go hmm was this a toxic kind of thing or karmic kind of thing looks like a heartbreak devil energy here in the past something very addictive a very like obsessive kind of a relationship um now that devil energy is real like stuck together like you've got it so it feels like more so an argument or some discord with someone that you are like in the past is someone you were chained to bonded with um somebody's favorite color is purple like all out favorite color they're just saying is purple okay so addiction again um it looks like a past thing where there was like breakup but can't let go of each other breaking up having arguments but not being able to really really difficult situation in the past with this twin and here's addiction here so something is screaming out in regards to this past thing it's like with the love the uh, there might have been like okay gotta break up this is too overwhelming um, I just can't they, like somebody feeling like they can't stop thinking about the other person is Capricorn energy feeling can't stop can't let go can't just trying to break the hold the pattern trying to do the self-love thing yeah very very crazy crazy kind of reading okay let me just get another clarifying card here for this yeah look at this the fool <laughs> Two people who just maybe acted very foolish in this relationship um arguing trying to get free trying to free if someone tried to free themselves from an, from not so much the person but the dynamic of the relationship going off on their own aquarius energy here somebody could be on the cusp capricorn aquarius january 21st could be but there's a lot of like okay it took a leap of faith went in without thinking when it with went in without really knowing each other very sexual addiction as well or obsession a lot of that energy playing out here somebody might have been calling it a twin flame um a lot of struggle in this relationship codependency possession controlling someone having a block breaking up making up setting themselves free like i could go on and on let's take a look at the present energy now for this week oh wow the tower okay why is the tower here oh yeah there's abandonment walking away sudden shock so virgo it looks like maybe you are just out of it did you get yourself out or temporarily you're temporarily like right now not involved with this person um that's scorpio energy there the Eight of Cups always gives me temporary vibes. This is withdrawal, uh, sudden shock, sudden just done, boom, done. So it looks like right now you are not with this person. There's some kind of perhaps breakup. Maybe you broke up before or there was an argument, not talking. It's not, it looks like more of a just kind of getting out of this situation. Um, let's see what the challenge is to this. What is the challenge? What is the blockage to staying gone? The blockage to staying gone. Kind of like dealing with an addiction, you know? 
uh, meaning like abstinence. Oh, the, the challenge to staying gone is this Knight of Wands. Crazy, passionate energy. Mm, it's a very sexy... There's an attraction, a very sexy draw, lust. That's the, that's the blockage, Virgo. The lust or limerence. So it's almost as if like there's an attraction there two people have for each other or you for this person, whichever. And needing to get away from the relationship because the relationship has addictive qualities to it. Obsession, possession, that kind of thing. It's very toxic, not healthy. Right? The relationship's not healthy, but the attraction is there. And if you have left and gone back or this person has left and gone and come back what's bringing you both back towards each other is this knight of wands extreme passion for each other on fire for each other and that that's the fire that's the flame that's keeping the relationship kind of like going forward this <laughs> i mean i don't know there's some kind of like lore lure lure lore not lore like it's in folklore there's a lure i can't say it a lure whatever you know what i mean like a luring energy towards each other oh my gosh so this week if you've been apart from this person and you've been doing okay i'm here to tell you that you're gonna get a little surprise this week okay if it's somebody if the person is returning or you're going back you might surprise yourself but the feeling the passions are going to get stirred up let me see what's driving what's driving you right now virgo all right queen of cups it could be the person that you have this connection with masculine or feminine energy water sign energy it could be but what's driving also is this person generally the queen of cups is emotionally available but when the lid is on that chalice i feel like no this is trying this is like what drives you i feel okay what drives you with this person besides this passion is to get this person to open up and express how they feel for you but it's also driving you away because they don't express because they keep it all within but they also come across as someone to you and what i'm sensing here is someone who shows up very supportive and has empathy and is nurturing and very healing however they might be that way with you but i feel like or maybe they were at times but they don't share they kind of keep it within their their deepest emotions they don't share them it's like um just keeping a lid on it emotionally unavailable all right let's see so what's what's crowning down on you here what what is the spiritual crowning down on you spirits trying to get you to spirits trying to tell you like either this person is very narcissistic or they are they just shut you down um and they and holding the three of swords this person this person comes with the three of swords and will always come with the three of swords it feels like spirit's trying to tell you that this is always going to be heartbreaking for you the five the number five represents uncertainty uh instability i feel like spirit's trying to tell you that so listen i know some of you are just long gone that's fine good manage it but you might get some feelings or something that shows up this week that makes that draws you back into this energy and maybe it's just a reminder for some of you of why you left because if it was good you like healthy and good you would never leave right uh let's see what's coming up in the near future here for you oh gosh yeah some of you um there might be some type of a reconciliation between you you might even get an apology from some this person whoever your person is i'm calling out some signs but you know if you're resonating with this you know exactly who we're talking about um yeah that six of cups kind of thing lots of nostalgia you might get a reach out you guys might come together you might reach back out um 
reunion innocence this person like two people might be showing up it's like man this is a crazy reading this week there's just this this card represents sincerity and kindness so i do get a sense that this person comes with that energy but it just it almost gives me wolf and sheep's clothing vibes this relationship wolf and sheep's like it's not what it seems and it feels mostly because this, whoever your person is just emotionally unavailable to have a healthy relationship with you but the passion is there i mean i'm sure you guys if i'm sure if you didn't want that emotional connection you guys would just be running on pure fire the whole time and it would be okay but it looks like i mean i don't know if it's just you it could be them too they might feel you're emotionally unavailable i did there's just this constant cutoff maybe you guys broke up like three times five times maybe you've been going or circle in the barn <laughs> the two of you okay so i see some kind of reunion or reconciliation here in the near future so we're in july okay so this is going to be sometime around second or third week of july could be sooner could be later let's take a look at your advice virgo what is virgo's advice oh queen of swords holy moly okay so obviously the queen of swords is usually a widow or a divorcee but the queen of swords your advice here is to be self-sufficient and totally honest with this person not mean queen of swords she can be she could lack tact but it's not it's not a card of meanness it's just be very intentional strategic whatever you're thinking have that dialogue like there's no emotion here there's no fire passion here there's no action here this is strictly expressing your thoughts or what you're thinking rational right queen of swords much like the king of swords very strategic in their thinking and in their words and that's your advice here any kind of communication or reconciliation with this person you've got to be honest not just with this person uh, in regards to this relationship but also with yourself seek clarity that's what the ace of swords is that is getting clarity trying to find ways to overcome any conflict and dealing with new conflicts the ace of swords is also can be about surgery so this means cutting that cancer out well maybe you're dealing with a cancer um but cutting out the toxins of this or expressing that that it feels very toxic all right let's take a look at them let's take a look at your person i was going to pull more cards for the queen of swords but i don't feel i don't really feel the the need okay geez your person has the page of wands i mean this person is crazy smitten with you jeez okay they're definitely going to communicate with you something some about some type of <laughs> could be about sex virgo just let me put that out there they might be can they might be talking to you about sex anything to do with physical activity doesn't have to be that but let's see what else do they have another oh yeah it's definitely that okay this is my like in bed card okay for sure there's also an energy here this person has been praying and hoping that you guys would have a conversation again all right so if you're looking to make to turn listen if I, and i put this in my community post right accept people for who they are and accept them for who they're not also don't try to turn anybody into something that's going to fit what you want you need to see someone clearly and does this person like what's first and foremost is the physical activity from this person and i feel it's more so that because that's all they're capable of giving whoever your person is okay it could be an air sign but i feel like it's it's really it's a capability thing i feel like if they were capable of giving more they would definitely be motivated and willing to do that but i feel like you might be trying to draw blood from a stone and i don't feel like this person's able to do that i feel like if anything if there's going to be any 
example of their emotions towards you. It's by way of their physical actions towards you. In other words, their the the the, the what's the word? The the intimacy, the physical intimacy. That's how they express their love for you. And I'm not saying that if, if that's not good enough for you, then it's not good enough. And I certainly am not telling you what to do. But I, I definitely feel like this needs, something needs to be addressed here. Or a conversation needs to be had. And if someone's not responsive, that's fine. You should not stifle yourself. If they don't respond or they're not willing to talk, you need to talk. And you need to get it out. If they're not willing to listen, still get it out. Find a way. Write a damn letter. Get it out there. You need to speak your mind. Okay, hopes, fears. Okay. Well, you definitely hope you're going to be able to like stand up to this person in truth, in your truth, in your truth, and defend your conviction. I feel like you have some convictions here with this person. So there is a hope that you're going to be able to do that. Of course, you might fear that you're not going to be able to. Yeah, you might fear that. But the, the overall message here for this is just to speak your truth and defend yourself. Now, I am going to go into an extended reading in regards to this to see if, you know, when you have that conversation, like how and if they will respond, if they will, how they will respond, how things will go. I'm going to continue this reading here, though. But if you want to get the extended to find out more when the reading is over, there will be a link in the description box below the video. Just click that link. The extended is always $11.11. .11. And I was going to raise those prices, but, you know, I don't want to be greedy. Let's just keep it the way it is. But let's move on here. What else does Virgo need to know? Virgo, what else do you need to know in, to, in regards to this? This It feels like a twin flame. But if it, I can't say that it's karmic, but I do feel there is an energy of um, two, two twins, one, maybe there's expectations. There's a lot of expectations. All right, let's see, messages of love here. Well, this is a destined partnership. There's definitely some lessons here that are needed to, needing to be learned. Put away the computer, working less will help strengthen your relationship hmm. might be an online relationship you guys twin flame is here again i need a little more light sorry twin flame is here again not gonna lie <coughs> patience okay everything will unfold in divine timing i feel like two people here need to talk this relationship is moving toward a sacred union i feel like this is like this relationship needs to go under the the scalpel right there's a lot of toxic stuff in it and if it's going to continue by both of you continuing it you're both going to have to not surgically remove the other person's each other's flaws but surgically remove your own and you got to find out what it is within you that you're fighting what are you fighting within yourself because it's you're not fighting this person you're fighting something within you. It could be your expectation. It could be your, your inability to see this relationship or see this person for who they are and how they are. You know, they always say the way people, what, what people tell you about themselves, what they show you is who they are. And this might just be about an inability to accept this person for who they are and either like accept that and deal with it, of course, uh, caveat, Unless there is physical abuse or narcissism, then no, you need to move on. Because now you're just, if you've stayed a really long time and you're going back and forth and you're damaged and you need to get, you need to heal. If this is not that situation, and there is a lot of more good than the negative, but the negative seems to be outweighing the good. These are things that I feel like within yourself you're gonna have and I know that's I'm not victim shaming or anything like that I feel like when we get better ourselves when we get better everybody around us heals as well they get better too it's a truth it's a truth we can't fix other people 
We can't put other people in a, in a mold or in a box or shape people to be exactly the way we need them to be. We have to be our, the best version of ourselves and focus on ourselves, right? And if, if somebody in your life, you just got to let people be who they are, right? Allow them to be who they are so you can stay focused on yourself and your own needs. Let me take a look at the Chinese signs here. All right. Year of the ox, year of the rooster, year of the pig, year of the monkey. Whoops. Year of the rabbit. Oh, we have another ox. <laughs> Double oxes, perhaps. Year of the goat. Last but not least, a year of the rat. Okay, so that could be you, that could be your person. Take it as it resonates. Is there anything else here? All right, I just want to get a couple of cosmic insights. Then I'm going to do the numbers, dates, and charms. And then I'll go over to the extended reading. So don't forget, link will be in the description box below. All right. Okay, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with an Earth sign. Honeymoon. Honeymoon phase. Oh, so that's a big sign. For a lot of you, I feel like there's a dynamic that probably happens in this relationship is that things don't get dealt with. And, well, not a lot of you, maybe just a handful of you. And this is a specific message. I feel like things don't get dealt with and just get swept under the rug. The attraction is so strong between two people here and the, the, the chain, the bond that or maybe codependency is playing a role things get swept under the rug things don't get dealt with and then we just focus on the honeymoon phase oh, only the good which is not a bad thing but you don't want to you know there's a, there's an elephant in the room that i feel like for some of you have has to be dealt with with either within yourselves and that this person needs to deal within themselves and that, like I said, could just be acceptance. But I feel like you guys, maybe there's this, for, let's just forget it. Let's just forget it, not deal with it. And let's just get back in bed. That kind of energy, because the passion. But then afterwards, when the honeymoon's over, you know, then it's back to the daily grind. So there's a lot of honeymoon energy. And honeymoon always makes me feel like fantasy or a wild time together, you know, or just whatever doing whatever together really like it feels very physical of course that's what a honeymoon is right that's well the intended purpose of the honeymoon was that okay now you also might be going to a wedding oh big thunder you also might be attending a wedding this week or get an invitation to a wedding uh concerning a taurus another virgo or a capricorn i hope the electric doesn't go out the power okay give it time everything in divine timing let things flow all right so that really is just a message here for you virgo to just kind of step back and find your happy place get into some peace don't stress anything worrying just worrying is a cancer to your soul it, it has no benefit for you whatsoever worry is like i don't even know why god gave us that emotion <laughs> why what good does worrying do concern is fine but worry nah i feel like worry is like a sin you know what i mean i feel like it's it's a it's a bad thing okay you also have water sign too so earth sign water sign cancer scorpio pisces taurus virgo capricorn showing up here all right you also have manifest tell the universe exactly what you want some of you don't even know some of you might even be afraid to be honest and clear because there's a, a fear of losing a relationship where lack of clarity is going to jeopardize the relationship. Lack, lack of honesty. And, oh, pets again. Getting a new pet, giving a current pet more love. Okay, anything else? Yeah, Mercury retrograde. Why is that here? I forget. When is Mercury retrograde? Anybody remember? Does it does it just feel like a Mercury? I think it's in July, isn't it? It is 
Oh no, it's not till August. All right, some of you might just be like, what am I in a Mercury retrograde? Well, I'll tell you what, there is going to be a reconciliation which is similar. We are in some other retrogrades right now. I don't remember what they are. I haven't looked at them, but I did see someone comment. Um, we are in a retrograde period. I just don't remember what planet, so that might be having uh, something going on. Also, I want to say, apart from the Mercury retrograde, the message here says electronic issues. Didn't I just say I hope we don't lose electric <laughs> or power? Um, somebody might be getting an um, electric vehicle, an EV. Just bought one or will be buying one. Um, there's also communication issues. Review everything. All right. Strong message for you guys. And health. Health issues could arise. If this thing isn't dealt with, Maybe there is a need to seek some kind of therapy or talk therapy or a trusted friend. Or um, I feel like if you're that Virgo that has been searching for a label over and over and over, trying to figure out the whys, the whys, the whys about this relationship, I feel like you're going down the wrong path. I feel like the answer here is acceptance. Like, if it walks like a duck, talks like a duck, it's likely a duck. I feel like that that is the message. Because if you're searching for the wise, then you're going to wind up making excuses for yourself and for another person. And even if you find out the why, ruminating on the why doesn't change the fact that this situation, person, place, or thing, walks like a duck, talks like a duck, therefore is a duck, okay? Deal with the what is, not the what if. That's the message I'm getting here, because it could affect your health. One more, please. And someone is unavailable, a waste of time. Move on. If that's your, look, look, let me just tell you, if you're getting something triggers you this week in regards to this person, and you haven't talked to them in a while, you guys have just been split up, and you feel like, maybe even after hearing this reading, you're like, oh, I just got to say this. You don't need to say it to the person if you haven't been in contact with each other. You can write it down. You can write a letter and never send it. The most important thing is that you get it out of your system. You're going to look like a crazy loon if you haven't talked to this person in forever, and then all of a sudden, you get on the phone or you text, and or you talk in person and you go on this long diatribe. Um, the person is probably, if you haven't seen each other or talked to each other in a long time, they're gonna think, why are you so obsessed with me? Like, what's going on with you? You know what I mean? If you, you, can, you can write a letter expressing, give clarity, gain clarity. You can do that. If you wanna send it, that's on you. If you don't wanna send it and you just wanna get it out, because it needs, you just need to deal with your emotions or your feelings. That's perfectly fine and it's quite safe. Quite safe. All right. All right, let's move this on. Again, don't forget, there will be an extended to see how things will move along when this reconciliation happens. Okay, we have double Aries, Pisces, and Libra. Ooh, oh my goodness, I'm knocking stuff over. Okay. September 3rd, August 28th, September 21st, someone's 32, 1976, someone's 51, someone's 65, someone's 66, or born in those years, someone's 56. They just gave me the word pain. Somebody's in pain right now, maybe a headache. Someone's 46, September 9th. 1990, someone's 45, 1982, September 18th, September 6th, hmm. 1971, okay, and December, very significant month, December, also October, oh, and then they're saying October through December will be very profound, but we'll We'll deal with that later. I just heard someone call someone Poppy. Poppy, Poppy. Uh, someone's Japanese. Um, someone was in the military, was a prisoner of war. My, God bless you. 
Uh, someone's name is Faye. Okay, we have PJ, AJ. Okay, someone's in Washington. Patrick, Pat, Patricia. Okay. Um, paw, paw, doggy paw, something with a paw. Someone's Italian, maybe straight from Italy or born in Italy. Well, same thing, or uh, Italian descent. Okay, um, something's going on with somebody's hot water. All right, um, we have John, Josephine, John, Jose, Joe. Joey, I'm hearing Joey. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. They're telling me the White House, right? Maybe it's the actual White House in the U.S. or somebody visiting the White the White House, Washington D.C. could be in that area, or someone just has a White House, like it's totally white, not cream, not off white, not yellow, completely white. Okay. Um, hmm. I just heard William. Uh, Jaffa? Jaffa. Like, a, like Jaffa. I don't know what that means. Jaffa? Jaffa. Okay. Uh, I heard just heard Timmy or Timothy. Okay. Oh, Wisconsin. Um, somebody's working on something right now and it's not finished work in progress uh, somebody's something going on with their hip somebody's having some hip issues something with a hip maybe a hip surgery or something with a hip Edgar Allan Poe somebody writes poetry uh, uh, we have someone here who is extremely witty I'm just hearing very witty personality, like quick with the comebacks. I'm hearing very quick. Okay. So we have the letter P, the letter F, the letter J, the letter T. We have W. We have an H. We have an I. And letter O, we have an E, letter A. All right, for first or last initials or both. All right, let's get some charms. What else is there going to need to know? Oh, look, we have another guitar. This is not, um, oh, this is one of the, wait, what the heck is this? All right, I feel like, this is like Grand Old Opry. Somebody's into country music, guitar, guitar, but like country music, they're saying. This is like a really old school guitar. Uh, Paris, Eiffel Tower. Someone might be visiting Paris, or you're living in France. You could be from a city named Paris. It's a connection to Paris, or the Eiffel Tower, or France. Okay. Um, very hot. This week is going to be very hot. Blistering hot heat. Oh. Until the sun goes down. But it's still going to be really hot. So take precautions, I'm hearing. Uh, it's this sun is going to be so hot. It's going to grab you like the tentacles like the spikes of the sun It's just going to grab you it might be very humid a lot of humidity very sticky where you are Maybe you're going to head to the beach to cool off. We have a starfish or your cat is backing their ass up into your face We have a starfish here. You might see a starfish somewhere We also have the planet Saturn Okay uh, looking up at the stars, sun, moon, and the stars. I'm hearing the sun, the sun, moon, and the stars. Some of you are going to get that from somebody. <sighs> yeah, and here's the Hierophant. There is a possibility for commitment here, so I'm going to take this reading, right? Because Hierophant, just here it is, out of nowhere. Traditional expectations, conformity. Well, they're giving me a hint. They're giving me a clue that this relationship actually might heal. 
and go in the direction of the Hierophant. So I will put this at the extended reading for you guys to see what could come up. Okay, they're giving me it's a little clue, a little hint. All right, I'm going to leave that there. Storms are rolling in still, so I'll end it. I will see you guys back here. Let's see. Yeah, tomorrow. Today is only, what is it? Monday. You know what? And if you, did you guys, does anybody join my channel? If you haven't yet, you can be a member for $2.99 per month. Did you guys know that? So definitely check that out. You get cool emojis. You can be part of the HOV gang. Uh, let me just give a quick shout out to any new members. Let me see. Do we have anybody that's joined recently or over the weekend? Uh, Amelia Joel Baba. Welcome. Anita Roman. Aina. And yes, welcome you guys. So awesome to have you. Thank you for any super chats you guys have posted. Thank you for gifting memberships if you have. Greatly appreciate that. If you're a member of my channel, you can gift a membership to another person. It's randomly chosen, but it's it's always a kind thing for the, for the community. And uh, do put a like on the video. If you enjoy my readings, I will see you guys back here tomorrow. All right, take care. Bye.